Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We love our robots. We give them kisses. We daily vlog every day, so enjoy this video. Come back every day. What kind of candy want us? Because we have to go to the south side because we found out Christina is going to get induced tonight. So we're packing our bags. At least uh, we don't know if we're going to spend the night there or if our cousin's going to spend the night there with um, Luca and Violet, but we want to be prepared if we need to. So this is the last piece I got to clean up. Sarah's going to change and get her overnight clothes ready, and then we're hitting the road. Oh, you wake up in your at your cousin's house. Could you go back to sleep? Let's try. Let's snuggle. Oh. Whoa. You're gonna have a new cousin maybe tonight or tomorrow. How exciting is that? So Vivi, is anything important happening today? Yes. What? Um oh, baby. A baby. Do you remember when you were born? Yes. <laughs> what do uh, you think, James? Wow. And the oven. Yes. So we have made it to Christina's. We are hanging out. She actually hasn't. Ooh, we got an oven in the Barbie Dream House cooking cookies, baking cookies. Oh, they're muffins. I'm sorry. Um, we are waiting to hear when Christina is going to be, like, like the time that she's going to be induced. We still haven't heard that, like, back from her, from her medical team. Hold on. James is, you know, he's still a baby, but now he's kind of a big kid, too. So we're just like, you know, sometimes accidents happen and we bump into things and it's, you can't say sorry just yet. Right? It was an accident. Yes. So we are here. We're waiting. In my bedroom. In Violet's bedroom. And um, yeah, we'll just see where the night goes. I don't know. I'm gonna obviously be respectful of Christina and like her family and all of this information, <laughs> of course. So this might be, I don't know when this vlog will go up or how it will plan it, but it's exciting. Her due date is the 21st to Saturday. So she's really, really close to like, being right at 40 weeks. But, um, yeah, today her team decided that it was best for her safety and the baby's safety to be induced. So that is the plan. That's really all we know right now. What are we doing up here? We have the Barbie. Nice. My Barbie is actually no Barbie. <laughs> Coco or Coco Melon? p.m. We got the Grinch. We got some blondies playing and getting ready to have some noodles for dinner. Oh gosh. What's James you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Just some cousins going to play. I'll put a movie on. Booyah City. Jamesy has found every little um, 
Lion King toy from the box of old McDonald's toys. Hi, right, just come back for a walk with Pumba. It's late, we're getting ready for um, bedtime with these kids. But after we have some french fries, and I think the adults are having a cauliflower pizza. Can you want that little bag? It's funny, at home he walks around with uh, Mrs. Potato Head's red bag. And here he found this little blue bag he, walks, he likes to walk around with. Are you cleaning up the animals? Thank you. Oh, you're a good helper. Oh, we got three kids in jammies. Getting ready to go to sleep. What's that face for? Let's see how this goes. So glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. It's a very exciting time in our family. Um, so I'm headed in, I'm getting an ultrasound to check fluid, also an NST, and then I'm gonna get checked and do the membrane sweep today. We've got a knee and then hands all in front of that. You can see the forehead right there. Gotcha. You like the eye here, like I'm going yeah. across the face, but that's kind of, you can I see, see nose and lips there. Yeah, yeah. So ultrasound looked good, the fluid looked good, he's still head down, and now I'm all hooked up to the NST, and I have to use this little clicker to say when the baby moves. So I got a snack and a drink, and I think this is like 20 minutes. Day two of a mega vlog. We got Violet in a dress. You got more pineapple? Beautiful. Jamesy in new clothes. We just gotta get this guy out of his pajamas. <laughs> lunch and the appointment went really great I did end up getting checked hold on Shit's Creek is way too loud I'm so sorry I feel like I always do that like have the TV on loud and have to pause to um, finish my thought but the appointment went great I am one and a half centimeters dilated and about 60% of face so they were able to do the membrane sweep for me, it was it was pretty uncomfortable, but it wasn't long. Um, nothing more than just like a bit more of a cervical exam. But my midwife's, like the whole team knows my history. And so she was like really great about me breathing through it and talking me through it and telling me everything. And just overall, it was a really great experience. She said, you know, if at any point, I wanted her to stop, to tell her, like, it was just, she handled it very well. And that's truly what I was hoping for and what I had confidence in going in, especially with this particular midwife. So, um, yeah, I felt great after that. Um, just knowing, like, there's some sort of progress because, like, I wasn't even at that point with James until like three days into my induction. I was just like not dilating, not softening, not shortening whatsoever. And so it was just nice to know. Um, Teddy is like the happiest baby hanging out in there. So she's like, I'm not sure if this will do it. She said it would be between like 12 and 24 hours if this did jumpstart labor or I might just cramp. Um, but either way, it's good to have for, you know, just getting things going. Um, so we'll be a little bit on standby with me having that done today. But 
as of right now, I've had a little bit of cramping, but nothing, nothing that I'm worried about. Um, so I'm going to go back to the south side soon, um, spend a little bit more time with Evie, and then I'm not really sure what our plan is for tonight, but I am proud of myself for mustering up the courage, asking about, you know, getting checked and like having like my first moment of like really advocating for myself. So it was a relief. What? Betty's had kind of a busy day with work and helping watch all these kids, but my work day is almost done, but someone is denying a nap right now. I think he's got to get some work done with that belly of his and a diaper before he's gonna actually fall asleep. But I think Sarah's gonna be on her way back soon. It's 2.20 right now? Oh, did you find Mufasa? Oh, shake a shake -a. We got Rosie's pizza. I actually just took an hour nap. And here's our cheese, sausage, pepperoni, and fried mushrooms. What's your favorite pizza? Cheese and pepperoni. Mm, me too. Just waiting around. She is officially pushing. 7.30 p.m. Let's see. All right. Taking Puma for a walk. And we just found out. Christina is about to push. We might have some fun news here in the next 30 minutes from now. We might, we might have a new niece. Show mama. Show her. Come on. Come on. Whoa. That is not what you were doing earlier. No. What? <laughs> That's a new one. Yay! Oh, roll it. Roll it. Go, go, go. Ready, set, go. Now you show me. You rolling it. Oh. He's got lots of work to do. <laughs> There you go. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> So our adventure at the Scarlets might end tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We have a little niece. Uh -huh. No name yet, right? No name. They had a name, but then now they're reevaluating. Oh, she was born and they're like, oh, she might look like a different name that they had lived. So. But healthy baby, healthy mom. Mm -hmm. We're very, very happy. Yes. This um, this vlog will go up like once we get clear from them that they're funny. It's so funny, like but with Violet, we were able to like be there and show it. This is also so special that we got to be here taking here. care of the cousins. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Part two of who, who knows how many. 
Good morning, we're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. We're back at the apartment and James is here and Evie's here, she's so happy. Um, so it's me and me and James came to hang out with Eve for a little bit, refresh our bags and stuff before we head back to the south side. So baby's doing well, mom's doing well, mom Christina's doing well. Um, they should get discharged late tonight. So the hospital they're at requires 24 hours for the baby in, in the hospital. So because of that, um, they won't get discharged. I didn't think they discharged people this late, but they're going to get discharged between... 8 and 10 p.m. Um, so I'm back at the apartment to spend some time with Eve, refresh some stuff, and then James and I will head back to the south side to hang, to meet up with um, Sarah and the kids again for the day. And then tonight we'll get to come back home. So that's pretty cool that we were able to, I mean, barring Sarah and going into labor um, at some point today, um, it will have been cool that we at least did get to help watch our kids and everything while she was in the hospital because we didn't know how this was going to work with both of them do so close to each other about if we were going to, if Sarah was going to go to labor first or Christina go first or at the same time, you know, we all had these, we had these different like plans of who was going to watch whose kids and whatnot. And, and it's nice that this is working out. Hey, we have to go pick up a purse for mommy and target. Ooh. James and Peter are back. <gasps> We're having a little fruit party. We're gonna have leftover pizza. I had veggie sushi. The kids are watching Luca down there. Ready to go pizza for the kids. Are you so happy it's Saturday? I am. I didn't have any work to do this morning. It was a big relief. Well, it's day three of the mega vlog, and James is refusing to nap today. But look at that tired boy. Luca's down napping. We're watching Bluey. All right. So it's 6:45 on Saturday. We should know. I think shortly if. Christina and Poppy are coming home tonight, but uh, I'm cooking dinner, a little bit of later dinner, but the kids had a later lunch and we're snacking all day, but here's what we're having for dinner for Sarah, myself, and our niece and nephew and son. So Sarah was feeling some breakfast sausage. Violet is a bigger fan of bacon, and I was hoping for maple breakfast sausage, so instead I got maple bacon, and then we're gonna do some scrambled eggs on some nooks and crannies. We did it. Well. We haven't heard 100% that they're going home tonight, but we're like 90% certain they're going home tonight. Yeah. We don't be introducing the wee one, but this has to be a later date. Yeah. Peter said I could put anything on I wanted. So here I am. I am doing my stretches. Um, I had more intense contractions today, but nothing consistent. And like a really decent lull throughout like the middle of the day. They were like more frequent in the morning and now they're more frequent. Um, so yeah, this baby is just very happy in my tummy. And so I'm just going to keep doing all the things to get my body ready. Again, I'm in a better place already than I was mid-induction with James. And I don't think I mentioned this. I go back next Tuesday um, for another NST and check and maybe another membrane sweep if nothing happens before then and if, if I want it. So that's the plan. Um, I'm just so, so happy that Christina and Grant, they, she just texted me actually, that they're leaving now. So they will be home tonight, just 24 hours after Poppy was born. I don't, I don't know if we said her name yet. We were watching the Sakaar children with um, some other family members and whatnot, and it, um, it was just like really, really nice for us to get home and sleep in our own bed tonight. And I just hope we get to meet the baby really soon. But I'm just so, so grateful. That everything went well and safely. She's really special. So I just can't wait to get my hands on her. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>